Friendships in the modern age can be an incredibly tricky thing to get a handle on. There's always going to be a long list of unspoken rules to wrap your head around when texting people. I remember the teenage days of proofreading every text five times over before sending anything to somebody I liked. With no facial expressions, body language, special emphasis, or sarcasm to accompany your message, you can never say anything too specific in a casual conversation in case it's interpreted the wrong way. As a result, it can be incredibly hard to take a friendship to the next level or resolve any sort of conflict between the two of you. Playing Emily is away over the last half hour instantly took me back to those days of carefully picking my every word and trying to read the mood of a conversation with so little context to accompany the words. Frankly, there are times I don't like to ponder on. I had some good relationships, but, like everyone else who dated in high school, it was mostly messy drama, things you wish you hadn't said, and above all else, things you wish you had phrased differently. The worst part of it all, however, is the lack of knowing what the other person is truly thinking like you do in a face-to-face -face conversation. You never know if that person you like is texting another person while you're talking. You never know if they actually have to leave, and for all you know, they're laughing at your texts with their friends. Of course, that's probably not the case, but every kid of my generation constantly had those thoughts. No matter how confident they may have seemed at the time, teenagers are nervous as hell when they're talking to people that they have a romantic tension between. Whether it was the awkward shy kid that would occasionally open their heart like myself, or the girl that seemed to have half the school under her thumb. It's a nervous, awkward time for everybody. Texting is a strange new form of communication that it seems like the human race is still getting to grips with. You have to know when to capitalize your eyes, when to use periods, when to abbreviate phrases, whether there should be a ha-ha at the beginning of a text or at the end. It's complicated stuff. And when friendships or relationships inevitably end, a teenager is left staring at the wall, phone in hand, wondering which one of these unspoken rules they broke. In the modern age of being able to contact anyone at any time, it seems like people have only gotten more distant, and every friendship I've ever had ended with one of us dropping the other. Having one last conversation or meeting up one more time when, unbeknownst to us, it would be the last time I ever heard from that person. It's never a huge fight or an argument, the friendships just fizzle out. And one of the scariest things in the world to a teenager is to be the one who draws attention to the problem. You can talk to someone for five years, and eventually you finish a conversation with a see ya, and the last thing you'll ever hear from that person is, Emily is away.